Well, hello. Oh, there we go. Some music. And welcome to a brand new series called Return of the Obert Din. Uh, as I mentioned in my uh, January update, this this right here, this game came out, I believe, in October. And it was nominated for Best Indie Game. And for and it got uh, awarded for Best Art Design. Uh, for all for all games at all and the reason I'm bringing this is because at the end of the year either December or January I want to pick a game I haven't played and I want to play that game uh, just to broaden my horizon now there's a bunch of other games that that I thought of bringing on in uh, that were nominated that just were outstanding games throughout the year um, like Into the Breach and there was there was a couple other games um, actually I was thinking about Assassin's Creed Odyssey but eh, I have problems with those games uh, mainly because I get so sidetracked uh, which this is something I'll probably end up showcasing in, which I assume I should, I haven't filmed it yet, but uh, I showcased in my uh, update. But this is a mystery game. We have to solve and figure out the 60 deaths, I believe is what it is. You know what? No more hesitation. Begin. Begin. I'm stoked about this. I've heard a great deal of good stuff about this game. I, the only thing I know is that basically you solve... Or you figure out how people died. And there's like 60 people. So lost to see 1803 of the good ship, the Obra Dinn. Built in 1796 London, 800 tons, 18 feet drop. Captain Ritwell, crew 51. 51 men. Okay, I thought it was 60. Okay, last voyage to the Orient, Cape Rendezvous, Uninit. Contact East India, uh, Sai London office for inquiries or testimony. Okay. space the honorable east india trading company attention chief inspector insurance and claims london office the Oberdin has returned dispatched to falmouth immediately and prepare for a full assessment falmouth england 1807 company man woke me up said you'd need ferry to the Oberdin. not many eager for that job Seems a bit late, if you ask. I didn't. Huh. What's in the box? I don't know. Hoist it up in a few minutes. Hey! Ah. Or a lady. Carefully. Oh. Okay. There was a couple different ways to uh, view the game. It gave you, gave me like three or four different monitor kind of views, and uh, this is the one I went with, which is the one that it it originally gives you. So, what are we supposed to do exactly? Do I grab things? Okay, I can kind of looky look. Okay, can't open there. Can I grab that and turn it? Close it? Oi! Oh. It's too heavy! What's too heavy? Oh, we got dead people. I'm coming down, dude. Lift it yourself. God damn it. This too heavy. Taking yourself. <laughs> okay.
skim through the entire brick first. Oh. Preface, I trust that you now find yourself abroad the Ober Din. I, I expected this day to come and my every intention was to tell the ship's strange tale within the pages of this book. Regrettably, failing health has allowed me to produce only the basic outlines that follows. Your presence on the Ober Din is critical. I leave the discovery of its fate and the completion of this book in your hands. The next few pages will seem bewildering at first. All will make sense in time. Use the pocket watch to determine the identity and the fate of everyone aboard. Complete each chapter accurately and return the book by guaranteed post to the French Office of Affairs in Morocco. The bargain chapter will begin unknown to you. I possess the details within, but have elected to keep them private for now. Henry Evans The Journey, Chapter 1 So, we came from... That's where we came from. No, this is where we came from. Where the hell did we come from? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Hold on a second here. So this is the gun deck. Here's the main deck. Sketches of life on board the Ober Din. Interesting. Now I want to go back. The crew manifest. Interesting. Okay. So, lose cargo. Chapter 1. I have no information on this. On the cargo deck. Part 2 is on the cargo deck. Okay. Oh, that just goes back. I have to skim through the entire book first. seems tedious. A bitter cold. Murder. The calling. Yeah, there's supposed to be, well, apparently to my achievements, 10 chapters. On the cargo deck, the doom. Is there a hundred pages to this book? The chapter remain unknown until you leave this, this ship and return to the book to me. The escape. And then chapter... 10 is the end. Okay, outside the captain's quarters. Oh. Tab to close the book. Well, hello, weird pocket watch. Memento mortem, remember death. All right, we cool now, squaw. It's too heavy. This book is too heavy. That pocket watch is too heavy. <laughs> what is this guy talking about? So what do we got going on here? So we saw our first clue, quote unquote, captions, on over here with this fellow. Well, hello. Oh, 
he got a straight blasted through the neck. Oh my god. If I tab, table contents, the journey, no. So I want, these pictures, right? Isn't this, Oh, no way. Three others were present. So we know the guy in the in the room was the captain. Okay. So you must be the captain. And three others were present. Inside the quarters? No, I can't get in there. So, this guy, this guy, we saw him. I really can't make out his face. Who else was here? There's nothing going on over there. So let us see who this fellow is. Oh, hello. He's got a beard. The man in the back. So is he trying to circle around the captain? Or can we see into the quarters? No. Is there anything to grab onto? No. Oh, I could just walk right through him. Okay. Oh, he was... He's right there. Okay. He's one of the first mates. And he's the guy with that right there. Okay, so. Open the door, kick it down. Appear throughout the book. Displaying indicates that you don't yet have it sufficient information to determine their identity. Their fate may be known and can be entered now. Trying to name them while their face is blurred would be unproductive. Carry on and pay attention. 
Faces will become unblurred when the information necessary to identify them has been revealed in some way. Okay. Uh, he was definitely shot. <laughs> this guy, this guy was definitely shot. Uh, club, crush, eaten, eaten. Look at these different things that have happened to these people. Uh, shot would definitely be here. Uh, gun. Was shot with a gun. Bun, an unknown attacker. I'm thinking it was the captain. Right? Yeah, so no other info. This guy's fate we don't know quite yet. Right? That that's the dude we're referring to. All right, taking a closer look at this guy. So he was the guy to the right. So he's like the first mate or something. This guy's doing on a long arm. So we don't know their fate just yet. Which could be anything. That guy was definitely shot with a gun. <laughs> we, we have established that. Interesting. So can I just walk through you? Not through you, though. Huh? Okay. I'm assuming he's the first mate. Does it tell me that, though? Okay. Inside the... No. Outside. This one's soul was shot by Captain Rantwell. Okay. Can I get the exchange? Okay, what was that? Q? Life at Sea Sketch. Okay. Um, murder. So... The end. Okay. And where's the dialogue at? <sighs> God. The crew? Loose cargo. Okay, back to the, this. Where where was that conversation at? Okay, so shot with a bullet. What do we have here? Oh, that exits it. I see. Okay. So who are you? I imagine you're the captain. Where are they? Must be in here someplace. <laughs> They're at the bottom of the sea. That's a lie. Okay, so that dude's dead. Shot. From here. So is this that same guy? Okay, so he made his way into the quarters. With that, uh, that thing that we saw outside. And his ass got gutted by a friggin' knife. 
this over here? Well, hello, Scallywag. Oh, it's that other guy. Okay. So he was coming around the back side. Two others were present. Okay. Who were they? No, he met a fate. He 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 got sliced. He got knifed. Is there any other way? No. By the captain. And we don't know quite anything else just yet. Location of his corpse. So that's... So part one. No, I want... I want the conversation. So yeah, that guy has to be the captain. Let's break down the door. One more of those shells. So part two inside the captain's corner zone. So was killed by Captain Robert Whittle. Where are they? Interesting. Okay. So he's coming around the backside. They're knocking over stuff. Can I interact with this? We're just examining things. Now you sh you used to be the captain. He'd be knifing this this poor bloke. Now I can't interact with any of these things. Okay. Maybe with that? No, because I'm in a memory. So this guy's gonna come around the backside and presumably try to kill the captain. Is my is my guess. Right? That's what we suspect. I mean, he took he took a hell, a hell of a detour to get to it. Now, did anybody else? It said only two others. So, I'm, I'm assuming there's nobody else around here? No. So, that guy ran all the way over there and then straight jumped over the side like a freaking, like a, like a hoodlum. Interesting. Okay. So we're getting, we're getting people's deaths. We're just not getting any information on who they are. Interesting. And then that's the second guy who tried to go on in and kill the captain. <laughs> it looks like, it looks like he failed. <laughs> this captain's no freaking joke. So he did die from that. Okay. I don't know. He's still kind of clutching his neck. I'm assuming. Well, he died there because that's where his blood his blood thing is. So. And it looks like this guy is. He met his end with a straight up bludgeoning. Once again to this old captain, my captain. Now, is there anybody else making their way on in? I see these particles. That doesn't mean anything, though. Nobody was hiding out over here. Okay, so there was only those three. Once again. Okay, so that I don't know. So I don't know. He met his fate. Uh, would you even say clubbed? I would say clubbed. Killed, knifed, shot, poisoned, speared, spiked, strangled, struck. Now, 
Suicide. No, he definitely, definitely got beaten. Then we got clubbed. But apparently the captain. This is all kind of pointing back to the captain. We know who this guy is. Memories where this person appears can be navigated from here. Bookmark all memories where they appear for quicker navigation. No. Oh, okay. Use the book maps to create manifests and art sketches, pages two through four, along with individual conversation logs to find clues about him. There were 60 people on the ship when they left England. Determining everyone's identity and fate will not be easy. Decisive information is rare. You'll have to make assumptions using partial information. Some identities may only be revealed through the process of elimination. Good luck. No, we know who you are. You're the captain. Oh, look at this guy. They straight hung a fool. Oh, okay, I see. Now I see the blurriness. I'm assuming this is his first mate. Interesting. So, go close that off. So sliced, straight, just, just destroyed. He destroyed that guy. Oh my God. But he was stabbed. He did get, he did get a stab on. So he must have been hurting after that. Where would he have gone? He'd probably try to heal himself. Pull it out. None too certain. Okay. Let's exit that memory. So. He stabbed the captain. Well, hello. Don't tell me he just made it into here and died. Oh, there's a bubble. Okay, let's... We'll do one more and then I have to end the episode. Abigail, your brother, my friend, I shot him dead. I'll be with you soon, my love. Please forgive me. Abigail. For so everything. Oh my god, he shot himself? The captain shot himself? <laughs> to flip directly to that sketch. Abigail. So, Abigail Hoska Woodrow.
Wait, what? Hoscut. So that's William Hoscut. He was the first mate. No, because she took his last name because fates are validated in sets of three. Correctly identify at least three people and their fates to have the information typeset into the book. Interesting. So this guy shot himself. But who's this in the bed? Oh no. His wife? He shot his wife's brother? So how does she die? She looks like she got sick. Location of two corpses, actually. Okay, so... No, he met... He shot himself. So that would have been, um... Suicide. By gun. Yeah, pretty much. No one else was present. I don't know. What about that woman that's in the bed? So. This guy's face is still very blurry. Give me back to the tab. So who are you? So there's a couple women. I just can't assume that it's Abigail, even though she's in relative proximity to the captain. So I would assume, I mean, this is the captain's quarters. So I'd have to assume that she's his wife. Go ahead, tab me here. She's relatively, she's pretty transparent. So his wife was Abigail. Hoscott Witherall. And there's no, no other memory of her. Just yet, anyway. But her face is clear, so we, we know. Well, this guy's face is clear, too. Why is this guy's face clear? No, no. No, give me to the give me the main index. So who is this gentleman? Was that the guy that was no. God darn it. Formerson royalty. So they're all having a good time. 
So does that guy appear anywhere else? No, this is like the entire crew crew. So why is this guy so clear? Who is this guy? We know nothing about him. Okay. Interesting. So he blew his brains out. So he died there. So there was nobody else present the way it's kind of looking that I can see. Interesting. So do I get anything for that? Did I quickly identify at least three people? I'm thinking I did. What do those X's even mean? Where that one guy so what what the heck does that even mean what's those X's mean okay interesting so is this how do I save this auto saved Okay. Huh. So we'll have to examine her next, right? Yeah, because that's where the next piece of the tail goes. But that's all the time I got for today. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. So, I don't know what those X's mean, though. I mean, it's four people. Four dead people. Right? Because we had this, the guy who was shot. The guy who was knived. The guy who got straight, his brains, brains just, just smashed on in by the captain. And then the captain shot himself. And I'm assuming it's because of his wife. Right here. But we'll figure that out in the next episode, maybe. I don't even know when it actually... Yeah, I guess it's not going to say anything until we get back to the boat. But yeah, that's all the time we got for today. If you enjoyed today's episode, go ahead and leave a like, comment on down below, subscribe and subscribe. When we come on back, we'll continue on with this uh, very, very interesting game. I really... Yeah, this is cool. It's a nice little change of pace. But... Uh, yeah, so until next time, everybody, you take it easy, and I'll see you around. Peace.